Hey guys, uh, we have Coder Byte, another Coder Challenge or assessment. Uh, in this case, it's division and uh, medium complexity. Uh, this challenge will, uh, will determine the greatest common factor between two numbers. Let's start. So we have function uh, division. Uh, take both parameter being passed and return the greatest common factor. Uh, uh, that is return the greatest numbers uh, that evenly goes into both numbers with no remainder. For example, 12 and 16 both are divisible by 1 as usual, 2 because it's again even and 4. So uh, the output should be 4. The range of both parameters will be from one to one thousand. So yeah, no hard code, <laughs> basically. Uh, wide range, but anyway, not millions or something ridiculous. Okay, yeah, so again, input, we have seven and num is three. So basically uh, seven and three uh, return one. So one, it will be definitely default. And here's another output will be 18. So yeah. Uh, let's come up with some implementation here. All right, guys. So we here's one of many implementation. You can most probably use mod function as kind of go to, but again, this is more classical implementation. So yeah, first of all, we'll declare as, as the highest. In our case, yeah, we will start with zero. After that, we will need to have the limit. And again, in our case, limit is basically minimum numbers. Like for example, we get thirty six fifty four. Again, no matter what, it will go as again 36 as smallest number. So again, here we're using the minimum function to get the minimum uh, to not have kind of uh, unnecessary calculate uh, more than we need to. Here is one edge case, which is maybe can be done more elegant way. But again, we have what uh, implementation here. So we are handling when it's again both numbers are ones. Just again, we will bounce and return one uh, as kind of go to, and um, after that, we will go with our looping. So, we're looping from one. So, again, that logic most probably should kick in the same way, but anyway, uh, no, it will not. Uh, so, um, and after that, we'll go to limit, and again, limited just minimum numbers of both of them. We can go to maximum, but again, uh, high number, but again, it, it's not necessary. Minimum will do it. Uh, so we will check the current uh, uh, is divisor for both numbers. So as you can see, we divide, and again, if no remaining, uh, no reminder, uh, uh, rem reminder. Uh, so nothing out there. So this end is uh, another one. So we're saying, yep, yeah, we good. So from that perspective, we will assign our looping i current starting from one to the highest one. So we uh, we going through the motion uh, here, and again we will go to two, three, etc., etc. So again, I believe this seems to be unnecessary because one will get one, we will kick in this. This logic will return zero. And we will get just one as well, so most probably that it's redundant, but yeah. Uh, and after that, yeah, we are looping, we're getting the highest and highest again, and we will just return the highest numbers after that again. There is no test cases here for some uh, exercise, so we'll just run code that is suggested, so we good. So let me do my kind of six, eight, uh, run code, yeah, we got two, not four, yeah, good. So let's go with the submission here. Yep, confirm submission. We'll accelerate this compiling and execution. All right. So all test cases pass it. So we successfully completed. Again, it was division, medium complexity, a coder byte. Again, uh, guys, please uh, consider to subscribe, like, if you have any questions or request to any other outside even coder byte uh, challenges or code assessment in other languages, just let me know. Thank you for watching and see you next one, guys.